Perfect winds westerly cruising through the channel markers at Coral Bay. Looking actually. Bombies everywhere. There's even a bombie in the middle of the channel. That's a hell bombie! Oh, tickers! Going pretty fast! Yeah. Too fast. Okay, so we're just sailing through the Coral Bay channel markers. Um, there's reef everywhere. It's dead low tide. I was looking down at those bombies in the middle of the channel going, holy shit. And there was all these tour operators around us and I'm pretty sure that they're going, what the fuck are they doing? Because I asked myself that same question. We sailed Tanga through the long channel that runs through a very unique and beautiful reef system, admiring the coral bombies that are just below the water surface. I had a man to swim off the boat and we waited for weather to keep sailing down the coast. To myself I said I shouldn't let myself go there Thinking back I had to swim Straight off of Tanga We just did a passage the first half of the day we were going into a southwester which took us a bit longer to get here than we anticipated um, uh, we had to do a few big tacks out and then yeah the wind turned to west a nice west and we rode it all the way through which was really good and now we've got some beautiful weather coming up in um yeah the islands out here so pretty stoked this time of the year the whales are thick heading back down the coast and they were just right surrounding right the boat here. it's not a real big one that's the baby is that right here he's looking at us come here huh? right behind us here so close like, That's not him just there. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Hello. Look at him. What? He's coming right under yeah. Tanga. Whoa. Go. Hello. <laughs> Wave to him. Put your hand down, babe. Hey. Hi. Oh. Babe, right here. He's coming back. He's just cutting laps. Is he or is that something else? Oh! What? One right there. Oh my god, he's going underneath us. Oh, there they are. Wow, he's big! She was there on a mission. Broken man, found hopeless and alone As he wanders in his search for what went wrong Reaching far from his soul, once was strong Now left blind in his journey to deep pockets It's what's required, he said, to keep on surviving But I left my heart in the back for far too long I know what's right, but my mind has been taken By the power of the mighty shepherd oh, so we've just had a beautiful sail from Monkey Mire up to Carnarvon. We just finished a couple months work down there and uh, we've decided to try and get into the Fasin River um, which has been silted over for quite a few years now I think. I'm actually a little bit flustered at the moment because we just got here and we've just gone for a fang in the tinny and um, it's pretty gnarly out there. The wind's picked up. Um, you have to go through a bit of surf to get into um yeah the little channel that's formed there that's naturally formed and it's a bit of a zigzag around really shallow banks and um around the dredge that's dredging at the moment um sounded it out and 
there's 800 mil ish to a meter and then there's more shallow bits and yeah we're just gonna have a go and try and get in and we're actually gonna leave the boat in here for four months while we head back to South Australia to our work so I'll just show you what it's uh, like out there and what we have to go through Unforeseen if we're going to make it in the foreseen. <laughs> just coming up to the entrance here, and um, well, the foreseen's been blocked, it's all silted up, and there's a dredge operating in the entrance now, and there's a new channel, but it's changing every day. And so, anyway, a friend of ours who's been in and out, he's given us a bit of a mud map to follow, and we had a bit of a scope around in the tent, uh, in, the, in the dinghy, and um, just sort of sussed out where all the shallow bits are and that so we're just about to have a crack at it we're just coming up to the top of the tide and uh we're just going to have a crack at getting in there's a few waves breaking in the entrance here but it should be interesting let's have a look There's a journey left for something, don't forget. Woohoo, got in! Yeah, nice work. Such an endlessly the ocean. everyone um, I haven't put out many videos of late there has been a few reasons why uh, we left Tangaroa in uh, the Kanama for scene for about four and a half months we headed back to South Australia where we're from uh, we really wanted to just head back there for the whole of the summer and um, get some work uh, get the sailing kitty back up to scratch and yeah, see our family and friends. Um, we had a fantastic time back in South Australia. Um, epic coast, the boys got epic waves um, and beautiful weather, best time of year to be back there. It was the summertime. Oh yeah, it is on. So now obviously we are back on the Tanga, which is exciting. We have been back for about a month now um, and we are up the coast um, on our way to the Kimberleys. So right now we're actually stuck in howling easterlies. It's fizzing out there. So that's given me a little bit of time to be able to jump on the computer and start making some videos again. And I just wanted to let you know that we're back and we are doing videos and I'm hoping to get onto it uh, very soon. And just to say thanks for uh, watching us, I guess. And we really appreciate all the messages that we've actually been receiving, just seeing how we're going and where we're at and what we're doing. So we have started another sailing season and the video that you have been watching um, is obviously from the end of last sailing season. Yeah, this year is a big one for us. We are heading up the Western Australian coast hopefully through the Kimberley region, the remote Kimberley region, and across the top to Queensland. You know, we'll see how we go. We're stuck right now with weather. Who knows what's gonna happen, but we're always uh, doing adventures and getting out there and being in nature, which is what we love to do. Hopefully you will enjoy the next couple of videos that we put out. And yeah, it's good to be back on board. Cheers. New Morse cable. The main. Seized up when we got back, right? Yeah, we had a few things seized up. Just when you're not using them, when you're not using things, they just deteriorate and seize up. It tends to be the norm.
Do you want to just go reverse with it? Today is departure day and we've just smashed out the chores, um, fixed all the little things that needed fixing. We're currently in the little marina, we're topping up our water and I've just scraped the holes. Um, there was like barnies like that thick. Um, she was a bit sluggish coming off the mooring so I'm glad I got in to do that. It was really murky, I couldn't see a hell of a lot but um, yeah that's done so hopefully we'll scoot along nicely and it's howling outside. We've got some strong easterlies and it's meant to be dropping, but um... Yeah. It doesn't sound too good in here. So we're also just waiting on the high tide um, to get out of the Fasine River. It's a 1.9 today, so uh, I think we'll have plenty of water. There's been a few other boats coming in and out. Uh, so yeah, we're planning on doing an overnighter to the Ningaloo um, where my beautiful cousin and her new baby and her partner are coming on board so the first baby on board Tango I'm so excited to see them um, and meet the little bub little Lani so they're coming on board um, for about four days so we're just gonna chill out there and um, have a really great time the weather is coming really good next week so frothing Headed out to the organic farm and we've got all this beautiful produce. If you want to follow our sailing journey around Australia, subscribe to our channel. We are also on Patreon, which is a crowdfunding platform for any of our followers to give support and help keep these creative videos going. We appreciate any help. Click on the link or visit www.patreon.com slash sailing tangaroa. Join us next time as we're back sailing. Happy? Yeah, it's nice. Back for far too long.